Get some time off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't actually. So obviously she's out of the box and she's in the suits. But she does stuff. In the box. How is she? She's good. She's getting cramped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's, in good, she's in good spirits. You're going to need a spa day when you get out. I'm really going to need to get a bit here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, scary thing. There's some dream stuff, and, and there's, a, there's a really cool... I, the way she... Not the way, not the physical way she gets out of the box physically, but the way she is distracted and how it happens and the characters involved in that is really cool. And it, it, um, it reveals a lot about her um, relationship and about sort of her past slash future. What can we expect? I don't know how to put that down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a okay. lot. There's a lot going on. Um, all I've ever wanted my whole life was a family because my adoptive parents were horrible. And um, finally got a sister and I've got two. And uh, so it's a lot. I've got a Regina and I've got an Eagle Queen and a baby and I just killed my boyfriend. So <laughs> um, I made an appointment with Jiminy Cricket for next week. <laughs> so, um, it's a three-hour session. I've got a lot going on. It's a lot. It's a lot. There's a lot of things that Zelina has to deal with, and uh, I think it's going to be really fun you know, as we move into season six. How we're going to explore the relationship, the sister relationship, and the dynamic, and the struggle between having a Regina and, a, and an Evil Queen. <laughs> oh, well, I think I, I don't. I, they haven't, I haven't asked them because I kind of don't like to know too much about what's going on. But I think I think killing my first love was super intense. So I don't know what they're going to do with Regina that could be more painful than that because that was that was a really intense scene to shoot with Robin on the floor, and we both lose our true loves at the same time well he wasn't my true love because let's be honest he was full of it and I had to save my sister from him but to her it was her first love and so her heart was shattered so I don't know if she's ever going to be able to love again or trust again so maybe that will get explored at some point you know like, is she ever going to be able to take her walls down again you know I think, yeah, I, think, you know, I think there's going to be a real struggle there because you know I don't know that Selena's fully redeemed and then you know you've got it's a real push pull and you know Lana and I were talking about that recently like the, just the two of us together or with the two sisters and when you're playing a, a, hit, a villain that's got been on a journey it's sort of similar to like the life of uh, some of the uh, disease of alcoholism you know you're doing really well and then you might relapse and slip a bit and it's sort of similar as a journey for a villain where you're doing really well and then you just want to rip on your heart or start a fire but you're like what's well, down love counts it's so I think there's going to be a lot of that kind of struggle going on in season six for me that would be wicked, yeah. <laughs> really good idea. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 That'd be you, great. you guys can do scenes with each other. All together. four of us <laughs> in a scene. How wicked would that be? <laughs> oh my god, that would be a hot mess, <laughs> dog. Oh, I would, I would eat popcorn and kick back and pay money to see that. That would be really, really good idea. I'll talk to the boys about it. I like it. That'd be crazy. Yeah, and we, and we do. We do. Um, it's. It's been a long time coming, but it's also, you know, I used, I used to sort of, um, I guess I still do, I, I, I can totally understand where she's coming from. You know, I understand that she's, it's not that she's just accepting it just now, it's that she's sort of being able to vocalize it more and be able to maybe take action with a little more confidence in a way to take care of herself emotionally now, now that she is pregnant now that she knows that it's not really just about her anymore she has to now take responsibility for this other little person and that's sort of making her head spin a little bit with regard to okay i can spend my life trying to fix this person whether it's for me or for him it doesn't matter but if it's affecting someone else now it's kind of a game changer so yeah it's a bit of a spanner and works for their marriage <laughs> for a bit, yeah. There's some, there's some alone time to be had. Well, for instance, you may break it and talk about it. It's very good, it's very cheap. Can, I get, can I get a card from you? Did you couple stuff, please? I just had an idea I was asking about earlier, and I, I thought about like how um, *Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe* was my favourite book growing up. So maybe like the C.S. Lewis *Chronicles of Narnia* land. Did you think? Too? I love it. Those characters. And then would be fun to Narnia. Yeah, that would be brilliant. I still, I still want. As we were asking, Mary Poppins. Yeah. 
Um, I love that movie so much. And who else was it? Oh, maybe Pippi Longstocking or Pollyanna. Some good female roles. I mean, we have great female roles on this show. We're like, you know. Very quite well for women. Yeah. I feel like every season has its own tone. And I think with this season, they're not going to do like two different arcs. I think it's going to be more of a through line for the whole season. So I think it's a really great idea, the whole Land of Untold stories, because it opens up a whole world. And you can have dance in and around, and people can come in and we can go out. So it's, it's really opened to Pandora's box, which I think is really exciting. And I don't have to Hey, uh, can I open your Pandora's box? Get out! <laughs> I think you're nappy. I think you're just lazy. I think you can even open it. <laughs> It brings it back to its roots more this season. Mm. Mm-hmm. How so? Of, of, yeah. Well, few reasons, reasons, having I guess. to deal with like their own shizme, you yeah. know, and, like being introspective and like, thinking about everything that's happened before up until this point, and who are you now, and where do we all go from here? And also the fact that they're just focusing on that physically as well—that we're not going into drastically different visual spaces. Either. Right, we're in town. Yeah. So the evenings between like Stay in town people, and deal with our stuff. You know, we can Netflix and chill at night, but we have to deal with that event tomorrow. Go to therapy, watch some telly. Watch Stranger Things, have a cup of tea, go to bed. Oh my god, oh, so obsessed. obsessed. <laughs> I watched five episodes in two days. I can't wait to go home and we watch, watch, watch it tomorrow. We watched the entire thing in two days. It's so like 4 a.m. We're like, oh. if you haven't seen it, it's you're so missing out on Stranger Things. Oh, it's on the list. It's out. It's Take it off. It's just, you know, no, it's a great weekend. It's one of that's the extra weekend. So, <laughs> so good. Plugging another show. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice work, girls. Watch Thanks for coming. <laughs> on Netflix. Where? <laughs> on Netflix. <Where? laughs> yeah, I like. I mean, I like the fact that I'm going on a journey. You know, I don't ever want to lose my wickedness completely. I and mean, I think she'll always be very, very snotty and sarcastic and dry. But then so am I. So that's not. You know, I'm definitely going to keep that aspect of her personality. Um, but I don't know where the writers are going to take me, but it is fun. It was really fun to become a parent and all of a sudden have something that loves me unconditionally, which, you know, Zelina's never had. And then this guy, you know, lo- making me finally, you know, bring down my walls and love him back and then for him only to betray me. So I don't really know where Zelina's going to go from here and if she's going to be able to love and trust again and what kind of mother she's going to be. I think she's going to try to be a good one, but my God, I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> But it is fun to play the softer side and sort of go into different parts of your emotions rather than just trying to like strangle children and still babies, you know. So they, they do, they just write. They don't do that type of work too, but it's just different. But they, they just write such interesting characters. Like just when you think, oh, I know what's going on, they get, you read another episode, you're like, oh, well, apparently I didn't. So I'm interested to see where they're going to take it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some cute boys. I don't know. Like, <laughs> there's a suggestion box. I've popped it in. Yeah. <laughs> We've only just read the third episode. So. I haven't even read that yet. Well, I haven't either. We've just too, I, was, I was too busy googling <laughs> Emily Um But I don't know. I don't know. Besides that, I don't know. I'm excited to see who else I'm going to be playing with. Hopefully, Belle. You know, it's obvious. We both have babies when we can start fresh. Play dates. Definitely have. We'll have play dates for sure. But we'll see.